hello everyone so in this video uh, we will see now adding the one custom columns into the fluent details list a little bit more in details and while exploring that we will see the other column properties of the fluent details list so here in the fluent details list when we were going through that we saw there are some column properties so this time we will see the column properties like cell type how to use it then we are having the uh, call tag color column so these are the few things we can see how to use it so mostly the call cell types types are present in the fluent details list are these ones expand tag indicator tag image clickable image and the link so the tag type of the cell are those which will look like similar to this one this is one of the example and another example here is uh, this one these are the tags which is the uh, color in the box these are the example of the uh, cell type as a tag uh, there are uh, other cell type which is nothing but the link which is uh, called cell type is equal to link when we have the underscore or clickable kind of thing so these are the type of uh, links when you click on that the click event will be there for you to do some operations then uh, I will be taking about uh, exam in the demo of the uh, clickable image the example is also here the call, call cell type equal to clickable image where this image you can create your own custom image or you can put the icons something like that you can set it you can see the call cell type equal to image or clickable image when you are putting image you cannot click it will be just displayed there the icon is not clickable but when you put this call cell type equals to clickable image then you can click it and then you can have the event there uh, in the uh, in the click event and you can do some operations so i will be taking example with this one so the example is now what i'm going to do i'm going to add the one column here and this column is not present in the in the subgrid which i mean in the table which i am using it example the account table here in the entity i am using and the uh, the column like xyz i want to display my own column with the some image into that and that could be the clickable one something like that i and that could be some icons i want to display you can put the image also if you are putting the image here inside this uh, uh, inside this particular column then you have to specify the path of the image from where you are taking it example if you are taking the image from the wave resource of the dynamics then the the url of that wave source you have to specify in the in the path so like that we can do so here i'm taking example with the uh, uh, icon itself i'm not going to to do the uh, with the wave resource if you want i can show that in the upcoming videos but in this video we will go with the some icon images okay so how to do this one so first of all the column which i want to specify here it is not present into my this collection so i will be adding uh, i will be updating this collection with the new collections and inside that collections i will be adding the columns and inside the columns i will set the properties of the icon there and that icon i will include into this field and later on i will update the uh, column list properties from here and then it will display so let's do that so but before that i'm going to add the another button here another control here something like the timer control why because i want to before when the app will run then i want to set it uh, with some collections and that collections will be get updated with the new column something like that so i'm adding the new timer control here and uh, by uh, the by default i'm setting this uh, as a three second the duration and then auto start i'll make this as a true then when this will start then i want to do something so where's the when timer start okay so here the our logic begins so when timer start i want to make one collection so clear collect and this is the account set and this will be accounts so i'm taking from the accounts these records into this collection 
and then I'm going to update this same collection with the new column. So here I will add the clear collect, then account set updated, and then we will add the columns, add column, and what is the uh, on which collections we are going to add the column. So this is the parent or this collection. So account set this is the original collections which i have received after taking the all the uh, account records on those on that collection i'm going to update the new collections account set updated and by adding the new column so we'll add the columns and here you can see it is expecting the column names uh, column name and the expression the column name i'm going to give this as a, a status icon or something like uh, i'm I, a status icon is fine which because i'm going to uh, use the icon uh, which will be something tick mark so that is why I'm that that is kind of a status one so I'm just putting the status icon as a column name you can put anything as per your relevant so this is the name we have to give the column then the expression how it is coming so I'm taking this column based on the conditions the image icon image which I will display it will be based on the uh, condition the condition is example if the account name is this one if the account name is datum this one then I want to display the another icon if it is not this one then I want to display the another icon so example here the account name if if account name account name equals this one then i want to display the icon of something another one so here uh, i have opened the link where all the icons fabric ui icons which is supported here so we are having so here i can choose the icon something uh, circle uh, inside this circle i can choose this one so when you select and when you see the copy the friendly name and when you put here uh, here icon colon and the friendly name so it is circle ring this is the uh, icon I want to display this icon when my account name is this one if the account name is other than that then I want to display the icon something tick mark this one so copy this name and then this so like that based on the condition i can set the what type of image i want to display under this particular status icon column i can set it you can put the nested if if you have multiple conditions in your real time then you can update it and you can set you have to set one value of the icon or image into this so it will be supported only one so make sure it is returning one value from your conditions and it will be set here once it is done, uh, then uh, if we need, to, if you want, we can include the other columns. Uh, we can include, but this is the maximum one, only one column. I'm going to add it. Okay, so this column is added. So like that, in the real time, when you have multiple such custom uh, column you want to display, you can you can add all those columns here. So you just have to add the column name, something like A B C. And then you have to you have to indicate what value it indicates to something like that you some this some static value so you can specify like this so it is nothing but column expression column expression it goes like that so you have you can set the column and their expressions every time into your collection so now this is my updated collections uh, collection which I'm going to use into my fluent details list so here in the fluent details list I'll come here and here I will have to change it so record has to be changed to select account updated when I'll do that one it is asking to replace the column so I have to add my columns back so I'll replace it okay and when I'll come here it is asking me to add the columns again so I will come here and then you can see the columns which are just now I have added the ABC and then the column like uh, static uh, status icon you can see these columns are coming from the collections into this where I have added so that is why I have to include these columns into one of my collections so that I can include into the list of these fields here so uh, so that then I can use these fields into the details list to display it 
so here i have selected the status then i can in select the abc these are the my custom uh, columns so they are own columns which is not present into the collection which we have added by own then i will include the name column then uh, customer customer type code then we have primary contact id and then the created on these were the columns which we are using from the last video so i uh, have included so these are the maximum columns i can include so now column has been updated okay so now uh, these columns included into the list but if you go to the columns here you can see currently only these four columns are included here so if you play the app now you will see only those four columns are coming here into the list so here i will include the other columns so call name okay so the color uh, the column name which we included for the icon was the um, uh, the state status icon right so the if we go to the fields here and then status icon yeah this is the name right of the field status icon so we have to include that name here then uh, what is the display name we want to give status icon then call width equals to 250 or 200 something like that we can set so now it is included here so if you play the app now so after three seconds it will refresh the collection and then you can see still now it is displaying the icon name now you can see for the datum corporation it is giving the dis dis uh, different uh, label for me so i need to change with the image so that is why here in this case i have to specify for this one the call cell type equals to as a clickable image or image whatever you want to display if you want to make it as a clickable then you have to set it as a clickable image so here i'm going to make this cell type call cell type equals a clickable image okay so when you set it now you can see it is coming now so as per the condition if it is a datum a datum cooperation then non check if it is then then check now again uh, if you want to change the color of this one by default one we can do that too so to do that let's add the another column into my main collections when it is loading so here i'm going to add the another column which is uh, we can make this as a tag color or something you can specify that tag color and uh, the color code you can specify in the rgb format rgb and then something like 50 150 250 so this is the three co color code value i have given to my one of the column of the custom column i mean the not present in this one the my own column as a tag color and this this tag color i can use to specify the color of the icon which will be displayed here so for that uh, uh, after this one so this this column is added into my this collection so i will come to this one i need to refresh my collection here so you can click here and do not replace it just cancel it then automatically it will be replaced it will be refreshed and then you can come to fields and then add the columns here you will see the tag color it will be present now so you have to include this also in your field list so that you can use it and now to use this tag color here so you have to come to the column list and then you have to specify the color of the column what you want to do so what you want to set so here the the for that the property is uh, call tag color name so we'll copy these properties and then we'll put into this and this the name of this one is tag color 
the the column which is uh, which is having the color code or color value of my uh, in the column so i'll set it here so let's do that and now play the app now you can see the color has been changed so like this you can set it i hope this video was little bit useful to you and uh, you have learned it from this video so thank you for watching this video guys